Burbank is famous for some of its hype. Have you been down to the famed Burbank restaurant row here? They have a very, uh, very, I think it's a three star, very highly rated French bistro called La Regurgitaria. <laughs> You know you're not exactly getting um, cordon bleu cuisine when the chef's specialty is pate McMuffin. <laughs> That's trouble. I saw you. Did you see it on television last night on 2020? <laughs> Very good. Yeah, it was a nice. Very nice profile. I saw you this morning on a local show, and right. you got lots of things going. This Monday is night. You just come here to get your mail, and then I always come here to see if you're here. <laughs> You can only do jokes like that when you're real rich. <laughs> you do all kinds of commercials. Yeah. I saw you the other night, you were feeding dog food to a Ford. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go to the news and see if Frank Sinatra is giving Israel equal time by doing a concert in front of Nathan Owls before a pyramid of giant whitefish. <laughs> and now I knew that wasn't gonna be a big laugh provoker, but it had very nice rhythm. Have you seen a $1 bill lately? Washington has his, has his wig over his face. <laughs> very small. What? Very small. What? Very small. What do you mean, very small? <laughs> well, he was explaining the joke to me. Well, I mean... <laughs> why, uh, why, did, why did we have to explain that joke? I thought that was just... <laughs> Washington had his wig over his face. I mean, there's... Why? Explaining it does not make it any funnier. <laughs> That's true. You want to end up with Jose Mellis down in Cuba? <laughs> Dang, I think I can play this, Jack. That's a long time ago. <laughs> what else is going on? We've got an exciting show for you. Later on, did you read today that ABC uh, just bid on the Olympics from Los Angeles for 1984, and they're going to pay $225 million? Whew. That is a lot of money to televise smog in color. <laughs> Imagine 220, and all in prime time, just to show Re Leroy, just to show Leroy. Well, <laughs> that's not that good. It needs an explanation like the Washington thing, and uh, it's, not, it's not worth it. Uh, what, somebody fell out of their chair or something. Anyway, tonight, later on, as you mentioned that consumer... Consumer advocate David Horowitz will be out here and warn you that if you buy a do-it-yourself brain surgery kit, <laughs> be sure that they include the hand mirror with it. A lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people have been ripped off and they got it and they had no mirror. <laughs>